This is a Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh. Today is uh, December 22nd. And I was here, according to the red tag I left, uh, December 13th. This was red tagged for uh, water heater. Improper combustion. Okay. Let's turn this around. So this is my tag that I left from NCI, but you can see they're improper combustion. Now what is occurring here is for most of you people that don't know this. And the furnace installer didn't know it. Let me take this off. This backdraft, so I did a test here. Number one, the uh, flue liner is five inch. This is a four inch flue, and this is a three inch. So the flue liner, I believe, I didn't look at the BTU in the furnace, is undersized. The furnace installer didn't know that. This is a Goodman. So what happens is when the inducer comes on, it makes a positive uh, draft and seals this off. So if this water heater is, is drafting, you get a back draft. The draft gauge will drop to zero. There's a good draft, but it goes to zero. So that's very dangerous. Now I'm gonna take this, uh, I don't see the BTU on this furnace, I believe it's over a hundred thousand. So typically you have over a hundred thousand BTUs, you have 40,000 for the water heater, and at least a uh, hundred thousand. I'm gonna take the door off of this furnace and uh, verify that. So, we can uh, explain the situation. So this was a dangerous situation. This is a new homeowner. So I'll take this off here and we'll see what the BT uses. This is a hundred thousand BTU and eighty thousand output. Okay. So if you can see that my camera's flickering. So you got a hundred thousand input eighty thousand. So you have eighty thousand, forty thousand, the, the, the flu liner should have been six inch because you had the uh, the water heat was 40,000 BTU so you have about 120,000 BTU the flue liner was undersized and uh, this just come on now so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to shut this off. I'm going to run out and get my gauge and show the video. And then we're just going to cap that uh, off. I'll be right back in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna put this draft gauge, you can use the analyzer, they're a little bit off. They're about two inches more. Now you can see here we got a draft already. So that means the draft, the liner's undersized. Okay, so we have established a draft already.
Okay, so this is one and a half. You got uh, 80,000, 100,000 input, 80,000, and then you have 40,000. So the 80 and 40 is 120,000 BTU. This liner's five inch, it had to be six inch. It's undersized. Now, I'm gonna put the switch on and, and you can watch how the draft drops. Okay. Now you can see the draft drop. This is pre-purge. It uh, pressurizes. So if this water heater is on until the burners come on, this is backdrafting. If this is putting out carbon monoxide, it eventually will. You have a dangerous situation. Now what was needed, as soon as the burners light, you'll hear, you'll hear it uh, You'll see the gauge rise. The burners are ignited. Now you see the ball rising. So it's back. It's back. This water heater's not on. Now it's making a draft on one. So this is undersized. It's a dangerous situation with the back draft. And uh, what had what had been done here is uh, <clears throat> what had been done should have been done is the power vent water heat like I'm doing, or you would have to put the two barometric dampers for gas. To control the draft. So this was red tagged by the gas company for faulty draft. You see the top is uh, melted, and uh, we have an undersized flu liner from uh, an ignorant installer. I mean. Uh, they didn't know that uh, you needed a six inch liner. They put a five. So this was uh, installed uh, on the 19th, 11-19. And uh, that was a dangerous situation. Okay, so I'll get some more footage as I progress here with the uh, replacement. I'm gonna go right through this glass top glass block with the two inch PVC. Okay, I'm draining the water heater. We got the gas off, we're gonna get some footage. As you can see here is another, the installer put this right up against the wall so if the relief valve would trip, it would be forced to stay, stay closed and you have access pressure. Okay, now I'm gonna retouch base here. The tank's drained, I got it drained, cut out. Now what occurred here is this, when the inducer have the fluid, it's not coming out, it makes a suction. The uh, pre-purge seals this off, makes it positive and you lose your draft with the water heater <laughs> until the furnace lights. Now what happened here was this, this first furnace, Goodman furnace, is 100,000 BTU input 80,000 out the five inch flue for the furnace just alone is okay now we had a 40,000 BTU water heater so you have a hundred technically 140,000 BTU 
anything above 105,000 BT, you need a six inch uh, flute. So this was undersized with the water heater. This needed to be six inch uh, flute line. You can see the outline of the chimney that the outline of the chimney was probably an eight inch or seven inch uh, liner. Excuse me, original liner. And they fished uh, a five inch liner down. This was a, a dangerous situation. I don't know how long it's been in, been active. This person just bought the house. So the furnace date says, I don't want to use the name. Uh, install 119 furnace. This is from a local company. Now I advise anybody, if you're installing furnaces or going to, especially a plumber, going to replace a water heater, where it's connected into the induced draft furnace, you better be testing the draft because you're gonna be liable for any occurrence. You're either gonna to have to put an electric water heater in or a gas power vent, or if you're certified, retrofit with a barometric damper. And uh, that's the protocol through National Comfort Institute. It would require putting a damper on this furnace and uh, one on the water heater gas barometric damper so the the simple solution here was to put the power vent water heater and i'm going to go right up there in the top glass block i'll have a video of it so i'm going to get started here and uh, go from go from there okay we got the uh, new water heater here set i'm connecting the gas we're doing the dirt leg as you can see well the controls are made in Mexico they make a bigger wrench connection on the gas valve on the valve if you hear me Bradford White so you can grip it the power vent water heater is a simple solution to re retrofit this um, I wouldn't recommend electric electric uses a lot of energy and it's a waste climate alarmist may agree I don't know gas is the way to go here shortly. Okay, we have the vent on the excuse me the power vent water heater connected. Now uh, I got a little bit of battery left this GoPro 10. It's better to shoot on 1080. 
Okay, so I straightened the gas out the best I could here, you can see. Uh, and I used the foam insulation when that drives was trimming. But, um, okay, I had to go out and get another battery. I'm shooting at 2.7K. I'm going to go back to the 1080 that, that sucks the battery. So this is the uh, power vent. Uh, we eliminated the vent. Tap this off here. I want to touch base what happened here again. The old atmospheric water heater was into the chimney. You can see they had it up here. So the furnace installation in 219 created a positive pressure with the uh, inducer coming on pre-purge, sealed off the uh, water heater. So if you're going to replace a furnace, any of you heating people, or a plumber hooking up a water heater, you better be checking to make sure before you install the water heater, either a power venter or put the appropriate uh, dampers or just switch to a power vent. It's the simplest thing. Now this is venting out safely. Two inch line, it's legal. I straighten the gas up and uh, put the dirt leg right way and that's about it. You're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you have any draft problem, red tags with uh, incomplete combustion, give me a call. In the meantime, ciao.